here today And all I hear is how I'm chasing crazy dreams They'll see Cause I've got perfect songs and melodies Just waiting to come out of me And you'll sing along Like oh, whoa Fancy words, clever lines and tales That take you back in time And you'll sing along Like oh, They should have believed in me. Should have believed, baby. Still open. Take one. Rolling in three, two, one. Is it really? I mean, are we really rolling? Because Rob was still in shot. He was still in frame well, I mean, when you it, counted it me in. It looks lonely with you shot there. It yeah. looks lonely with me up here. Well, it happened. You know, Julie Ingram took another day off. She wasn't terminated, she just took another day off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into something that we were gonna discuss last week, but it makes sense to do it this week. The most Googled questions. Did you guys research this after we talked about it? Okay, so the most Googled or searched questions online have to do with the struggles of adult life, okay? So I'm gonna give everybody some time to like think about it, you know, it's a, it's a perplexing issue to think about it. Maybe Jason, what, what, are, what are your questions, like the top question that you have that right now, if you could, you would like to Google it? Like how to make a shirt that looks like yours. Let me, let me see your shirt. Let me step out. Can, can somebody get his shirt? Come, come up here, Jason, come on. He wants to do the word of the week, but now he's growing do do? media marketing. That is the company producing the spiel. Growing media marketing. People should look it up. How do you make that shirt? Did you make that shirt? I didn't make it. You didn't make it. Your wife did. You're Mama Saurus. Mama Saurus made the shirt. Okay, <clears throat> listen. So while people are thinking about what they would like to search online, did you know that the states have decided to break out the most asked question in each of the 50 states? Why, why are you guys not participating today? I can think of Illinois. What is Illinois? Why do I live here? <laughs> why do I live yeah. here? Actually, the question in the state of Illinois, why do bad things happen to good people? The most Googled question. In Alabama, happened to hail from Alabama, rain from Alabama. What is love? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Baby, don't hurt me. Yes. Idaho, relationships between religion and science. Pretty deep. Tennessee, ready for this? What is truth? Would you guys like me to look up any other state or are you good? Rob, Rob can you name the 50 states? What is it? Hawaii. 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 Okay. What is reincarnation? This is awesome. I mean, these Texas, see, everybody's curious. I was going to say Hawaii's was, where do I get laid? Are we alone in the universe? Texas, are we alone in the universe? Most asked question coming out of that state. Okay, let's get to the, uh, the most searched question. Should we do it in the open or should we make people wait, like through the whole show? Make them wait. Make them wait, like through the whole show, right? Okay, so we have some great guests today. We have an author who we love. He's been on before. He's talked to us. Amazing travels, amazing stories of his journey. And now he's taking a journey inside the mind. It's going to be very good. Also, how to make something, what, deliciously ordinary, Rob? What does that mean to you, deliciously ordinary? It means it tastes good, but it's plain, perhaps getting back to the basics, right? Where is Julie? Does anybody know where she is? Does she ever call in? Does she let us know where she's going to be? She's probably at home watching. She's laughing that she stuck us again. All right, look, it's going to be good. Um, also, an amazing um, singer, songwriter turned his life around. He's going to share his story. So stay right there. we got a lot coming your way. We'll be right back. Coming up on The Spiel. I do event styling. So I take ordinary events and try to make them a little extraordinary, a little delicious, a little something out of the box. I admire and I respect the people who come up to me and say thank you to me. 
I have to turn to them and say, no, 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 it's me thanking you, that's what I'm doing here. The Bank of Heron has been serving Southern Illinois since 1937, offering everything from checking and savings accounts to loans and a full service trust department. With convenient locations and a dedicated professional staff, our outreach and involvement in the communities we serve plays an integral role in how we do business, proving it's not just a bank, it's a relationship. The Bank of Heron. To find out more, visit bankofheron.com. I need to find a doctor fast. Why don't you go to Christopher Rural Health? They have 11 clinics. What do they do? They took my state insurance and I wasn't put on a long waiting list. We didn't have insurance and they saw my kids and me. Now we're all covered. They hooked me up close to home and got me a ride too. Even if you can't pay, they don't turn you away. Do you have their number? Sure, 1-800-408-7351. Visit us at crhpc.org. You'll know you're in Shawnee forest country when the hills rise up to meet you. When the fruit of the land seems to be waiting for you to pick it where at the end of every path, you'll find another reason to raise a toast. The Shawnee National Forest is home to miles of unbelievable natural wonders, adventure, wineries, <laughs> and unique places to stay. That's how you'll know you're in Shawnee forest country. Plan your getaway at southernmostillinois.com. Hey, Chef Rob here, introducing our new Chef Splendor Dips from Prairie Farms. They come in spicy ranch, roasted red pepper, and my favorite, tzatziki made with 100% real sour cream, were crafted in small batches, all natural ingredients, no artificial growth hormones added, and gluten-free. Look for us today. Check out our website at prairiefarms.com. You're watching The Spiel. are spieling it in our Southside Lumber Kitchen, brought to you by none other than Prairie Farms and Lindsay Ann. There is nothing ordinary about you, perhaps you. deliciously ordinary. Is yeah. that is that a better way to say it? Yeah, okay. yeah, I like that. So first of all, what does that mean? What I mean, this is just cool looking. I mean, it's raw. It's it's deliciously ordinary, I guess. Yeah, so um, I do event styling. So okay. despite the name, I'm not a baker, but um, I do event styling. So I take ordinary events and try to make them a little extraordinary, a little delicious, a little something out of the box. I like so, it. So yeah, like so it. hence the name. Okay, I have been stalking you a little bit online. <laughs> so you are on Facebook yes. um, under Deliciously Ordinary, yes, is that right? that is. And I've noticed that you're having a um, workshop on wreath design and then we do cake design mm -hmm. and you style photo shoots. I mean, you do a little bit of everything. Yeah, basically anything that has a decorative element, um, we can take care of. So okay. um, everything from big events to small events to photo shoots, um, you know, we do centerpieces, backdrops, food stations, signage, kind of all those elements that take, um, again, an ordinary event and kind of make it extraordinary. Okay, because I was about to say, I think you're anything but ordinary, yeah. you're a little <laughs> extraordinary. So, and it, and it looks to me like you truly appreciate raw mm -hmm. goods, mm -hmm. raw elements and bringing out the beauty in those. Talk a little Definitely. bit about that. Yeah, so I like to take things that are um, a little bit unexpected, maybe not typically seen as beautiful and maybe not always used, um, and, and use them to create something beautiful. So a juxtaposition between um, maybe something raw and, and something, you know, just kind of that variety of texture and color and organic and fresh and just kind of mixing it all together to make something unexpected and non-traditional. Nice because you don't want to do what somebody's already done. No, definitely not. Good and for you. Yeah. Okay, what are we going to do today? Okay, so today I'm going to be styling a cake, okay. and I'm going to be showing how you can take a store-bought cake, uh, just something really basic, and you can style it to uh, really make a statement and not look store-bought. So mm -hmm. anybody can go down to the local market and buy a basic white cake and really elevate it by adding just some simple items um, and just styling it in a way that, again, is going to be kind of unexpected. Um, the but coconut that you bring back from Jamaica and all of that. Yeah, I, of course. Okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. so um, I'm taking a theme that is really trendy right now. So okay. the tropical kind of Hawaiian theme, we're seeing a lot of pineapple, the palm leaves, all of that. Sure. Um, I'm going to do a nod to that, but do it in a way that transitions into our cooler months. Okay. So this is typically a theme you'd see in summer, and as we're getting out of that, you can still keep that trend, but do it in a way that is a little non-traditional. So 
Perfect. I have um, a basic white cake that I got at the store, and this one had coconut on it already, which is great, because okay. I knew that I wanted to use coconut, coconut to have that nod to the tropical. Okay. So I take the basic white cake, and then I got a coconut, um, just a fresh coconut at the market as well. You just crack it open, um, and I'm going to use now what that. what market are you going to to get the so coconut? So all of this I got at Walmart. Stop. Yeah, all of this. So I got the cake there, um, and I got, new. yeah, so, um, and, you know, seasonally, like, this is a pomegranate. Yes. Um, so depending on the season, you know, it may be more difficult to find some of these elements, but with the co-op or we have, you know, fresh foods and whatnot, sure. you will be able to find some really cool um, items to work with. Nice. And, you know, a lot of times I'll go to the market and just look and see what do they have, and then I'll use that as inspiration. Smart. So. You don't get locked in that way. Yeah, exactly. So you can go, you know. Um, um, with the coconut cake, you're going to want to consider flavor, but again, you you know, just depends on how much flexibility do you have, you know, how kind of out of the box do you want to go. So, um, so I knew I wanted to use coconut. It has, you know, once cracked open, it has just a really cool like texture and you know that organic vibe. So um, when I'm styling a cake, I like to think of color, texture. Um, height and balance. Okay. So for this one, it's a little bit smaller. I'm going to start on just the top um, left side. Okay. And I'm going to start with my biggest pieces and build from there. So I'm going to start with a piece of the coconut as kind of my anchor. And I'm just going to put it on the side of the cake and just kind of nestle it in there so I can build off of that. And then I'm going to add a floral element. Nice. And I'm just going to use my biggest floral. Um, and again, you're going to just kind of want to look at, like, depending on the size of the cake that you're working with, okay. I always get more so that I have enough to work with. And then Smart. you can um, use any extra to add to your table or to add around um, your event. Okay. So I'm just going to add it right next to here okay. and just put it right in there. Nice. And then I'm going to, so again, then I'm going to use kind of the smaller elements to use this filler. Okay. So um, I'm going to use some of the pomegranate seeds, which you can just scoop out. I've already scooped out some. Mm -hmm. And something to think about with fruit is that a lot of times they will, you know, it'll bleed depending on the fruit that you use. Okay. Um, so if you don't want, I don't mind. I think it looks cool. Um, but if you don't want that, you'd want to use a different type of fruit, or you would you can use frozen once it thaws. It's probably going to okay. um, still bleed. So just something to consider. So what you're looking at here is you want everything to be picture perfect. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because everybody's into that now. Like, it is. You know, yeah. I mean, with social media, right. and you want you know if you're having Thanksgiving, Christmas dinner, and you have the cake setting out somewhere, you want it to be a talking point. There I mean, you, you that's you know that's something that. We want to, you know, people think about and, um, you know, you just want to have, yeah, that, that picture perfect moment and, and people kind of talking about it. So, you know, I'm just adding like some elements and really how I'm getting the fall winter elements is with color. So I use the coconut, which is again, the nod to the tropical, but then I'm just going to um, bring in those deep, deep, rich colors. Beautiful. So I'm adding in the berries. And then I'm going to add in um, some of the other, like I'm going to add greenery to get height. Okay. So, and how did this start for you? I mean, this is obviously your business now. Mm -hmm. it's, but where did the desire come from? And is it something you've just always done and turned it into a business? So I am actually from California. Okay. And so a lot of this stuff you see out of um, some of the bigger cities, out of um, you know, out of California, you see some of these trends. And so when I moved here, I wasn't some of the stuff I wasn't seeing some of those newer trends. Right. And so Were I wanted. Were you surprised? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's okay. you know, it's. A, I've been here for a while now. So, but I like bringing some of those things that aren't here yet. I like bringing them in and um, doing something that you know isn't really done in this area a whole lot. Right. So um, that's kind of how it started. Was just moving here and realizing that there was, um, you know, there was kind of this void in some of those, um, some agree. of those trends. So you know, um, so yeah, that's kind of where it started, and I just love it and you know, took the plunge. So I'm gonna do left and then bottom right. Okay. If I had a cake stand, I would probably just do it on the, like the counter or the tabletop. Here, okay. I'm gonna do it just again, you know, against the cake. So I'm just gonna take some of the... And that's the thing people should realize, you know, you're, you're always running into situations mm -hmm. where, okay, you thought you would have a cake stand, whatever. Yeah. You have to be willing to improvise because... Absolutely. I think there's no wrong way to do these things. It's what you find. Absolutely, beautifully. yeah. 
Absolutely. ordinary. Right? Yeah, like okay. there's, exactly. I always tell people like with my workshops, there is no, I mean, the magic happens when the unexpected happens. Correct. So you start out with a general idea and you don't know where it's gonna go, but right. you know, roll with it, allow those quote unquote mistakes to happen. Sure. And then that's really when you get that magic. You get that, oh my gosh, I didn't even, I did not expect this. I couldn't even even planned for this to be this amazing. Okay. Um, and so that's kind of, now, do you get sad when people would actually cut into this creation? <laughs> You're no. like, hey, I just styled this cake. Can you back off, please? Um, no, I mean, I just love, I just love like when people, you know, are pleased with what we do or when they're pleased with what they've created. So when we do a workshop and then they step back and they love it, like that moment is just really, you know, that's yeah. awesome. I love that moment. So let's invite people into your world. How do they take part in your workshops and how do you work or what can they hire you to do for them? So basically any, again, any decorative element. So, you know, we have a Facebook page, Deliciously Ordinary. We have a website. And you know, if anyone wants to reach out, send us a message. We do, you know, a consultation totally free. We just chat about like, what are you looking for? Um, what are you needing from us? How can we help? And we'll do kind of as much or as little. So Perfect. we have people reach out that are really creative and they have all these ideas and they want to be really hands-on and that's awesome like we love being you know collaborative efforts okay. um, and then we have other people that want like complete hands-off please do it surprise me when I walk in the room Got it. so um, we're really you know there to help as much or as little for you know whatever you want if you have a dinner party and you just want a killer tablescape we'll come in and take care of that nice. you know whatever elements you're looking for okay great yeah so they just need to Look you up, mm -hmm. have yeah. the conversation, yeah, and you aim to please. Absolutely, you know, and check it. out you know workshop. We have um, our Facebook page. We always put up new ones. We have one coming up that's gonna be. It's called Behind the Scenes, and it's all about how to throw your own event. Okay. Just tips and tricks. Um, we definitely want to you know arm the community with ways to make the killer event and just have fun and low stress and. Very nice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for having it's a me. Pleasure. And we'll be right back. Coming up on the spiel. In the book then I talk about seven premises of behavioral science right. um, that lead us to the conclusion that we do not have free will and that's not bad news. The thing that has helped me the most has been able to know that the stories that we bring to light are stories that have never been touched before. If you live in Southern Illinois, you drive around, you're probably going to go buy one of our buildings or know somebody that has a building that we have put up. It's only limited by one's imagination. You can build pretty much anything with post frame buildings. They're economical and sturdy. It's going to last a long time. We try to work hard, get the job done, buy efficiently to keep the cost as, as low as possible for our customers. We have a website, NukemConstruction.com. At the end of the day, I, I have to be satisfied with the work we do. You'll know you're in Shawnee forest country when the hills rise up to meet you. The Shawnee National Forest is home to miles of unbelievable natural wonders. Plan your getaway at southernmostillinois.com. I'm Justin Holman and you're watching The Spiel. We have the best selection in Southern Illinois, hands down. Great customer service, clean, well lit. As we encourage people to come in, shop the store, try different things, experience the tasting. Our staff at all speakeasies are the most knowledgeable. You can call, you come in, there will be somebody to talk to you about what you're looking for. We have a lot of products here. Whatever you need, we can get it taken care of, whether you come in the store or the drive-thru. Like us on Facebook to keep up with tastings and weekly specials. Speakeasy Liquors. I'd like to buy the family's gas one too. Okay. I'd like to buy 
to pay for this family's meal. Okay. We're so blessed in this country. I would encourage all of you to pay it forward and let that random act of kindness define us as a nation. Farmer State Bank, no one serves you better. I plan on becoming a teacher and traveling to a different country to teach overseas. I can do a cartwheel. <laughs> that's, that's the end of my talent. <laughs> I was in the A-plus program, so I had an A-plus scholarship. I still get to live at home. I don't pay very many bills. It was affordable. Dream big and stay determined. You can do it and we can help. Three Rivers College, success starts here. We love making new friends. Visit us online at facebook.com forward slash spiel on. And Martin McMurrow is an author that we've had on before, and we appreciate you coming out again. We thoroughly enjoyed your last visit. This time excited because the book is so different. Mm -hmm. Spectating. What, what are we on the road to do now? Not necessarily talking travels any longer. Um, yeah, I suppose not physical travels. Maybe, <laughs> maybe uh, the uh, thought travels, yes. mental travels, yes. those sorts of things. Uh, so it is, it is different um, than the stories that I... Right. Uh, wrote before the memoirs. Again, free will, that's, that's what you want, I think, the focus to be. There's a lot of conversation about free will, um, whether or not it exists. Uh -huh. um, many people, more and more people, it appears, um, neurologists, neuroscientists, psychologists, are positing that we do not have free will. Right. And so it's one thing to have the conversation about whether or not we have free will, but quite another thing to imagine, well, if we don't have free will, what does that mean right. in terms of how do we live our lives? We should preface it with, um, talk a little bit about your studies. Let's back up yeah. and, and, and talk about how, how this came to be and, and why you're looking at this to begin mm -hmm. with. I came to uh, SIU in uh, 1977 to uh, because of the Rehab Institute, mm -hmm. uh, because there was a new, uh, a new field of study taking place at that Rehab Institute, which was called Behavior Modification. Okay. Um, I was very interested in Behavior Modification, primarily because of the technology of it. At the time, I was in a helping profession, and I wanted to help, and I wanted to be better at it. Um, but when I got here, I realized that the philosophy is perhaps more important even than the technology. Mm -hmm. I mean, behaviors, and when you study it, it is fascinating. Um, what was that, uh, what was the interest for you? Was there a particular instance? Was there, oh, yeah. why? Um, fundamentally, it, it says that behavior is lawful, that, that the things that we think, feel, and do um, happen and are caused by things external to us mm -hmm. as opposed to things that are internal to us. Now that's a very important conversation sure. because so many of our beliefs in this day and age are that we are in control, um, we are humans and we are powerful and we can make things happen um, and we can hope for things and I wish for things and all of these things that are really internal as opposed to no we are human beings and our thoughts feelings and actions are caused by the things that are happening around us right you are causing me to behave in particular ways as a result of things that you do um, and vice versa and we move each other and it's not in our control right you like to think that it is, and you can have aspirations and, like you said, dreams, desires, a free will to want to do things, but too many times I think we do become a product of our surroundings and what we know best. That's really true, and, and it's scary to people because you say, well, you know, perhaps you're not in control of the things that you think, feel, and do. Right. Um, well, people don't want to hear that because they think maybe the world will spin out of control yeah. um, if we're not in control of our, uh, our, our thoughts, feelings, and actions. And it sounds like bad news. Uh -huh. So you put that book out there sure. and you say, well, I don't want to read about that stuff. I don't, I don't believe that. That's, right. that's far from what I believe. So in the book, I, I wanted to accent that there's good news in this. Sure. And the good news is that 
if we're not in control of the things that we think, feel, and do, if they are caused by things that are happening around us, uh -huh. then life becomes very interesting. Right. If we're observers of those things, we wait to see what happens next. Um, and that's what I call spectating. Right. Um, spectating in one's own life. What's going to happen? What questions are you going to ask me? Right. And how will I respond to those? I'm just watching to see what happens. Yeah. Witnesses of life. But you do have some things marked in here. What are, what are some of the takeaways for you that, that you hold dearest in, in that book that you were sharing with folks? Hmm. That's an interesting question. It, I suppose that's what my tabs say. I yeah. know. <laughs> This little tab says, come along, set aside your current ways of thinking about why you do the things you do, how you became who you are, and what it means to exist. Consider something wildly fresh, something I found inexplicably encompassing, and something about our existence that has been, is, and will be true, or at least very close to it. So it's what science tells us about our existence and about why we do the things we move. In the book, then, I talk about seven premises of behavioral science right. um, that lead us to the conclusion that we do not have free will, and that's not bad news. <laughs> right. It can be very, very exciting. I spend a lot of time outside watching. I spend a lot of time with friends listening. I spend time enjoying my existence in a different way than I ever enjoyed it before. Another cool thing, having been in human services my whole life, sure. we spend a lot of time talking about each other, blaming each other for the things that we do. You know, when, when you do something silly or um, your friend does something silly, we say, well, they did something silly. Well, if we view them as not being in control of what they do, then we stop blaming them. Mm -hmm. And particularly when we work with people with disabilities or people that have had a brain injury or, you know, I, I see people all the time blaming people with disabilities for the things that they do. Hmm. And it's like, how can we, how can we do that? Um, uh, so I live in a world of no blame. Sure. You're not responsible for the crummy things you do or the good things that you do. I'm not responsible for the crummy things that I do or the good things that I do. Now, people say, well, that's crazy. You can't do that because the world will spin out of control again. Well, there's a difference between responsibility and accountability. There you go. We're going to continue to hold people accountable for the things that they do, even though we may view them as not being responsible. Sure. So I could interact with... Uh, people who others would say do terrible things and I could interact with them just fine and not blame them for anything that's happened because I don't it wasn't their fault so by witnessing life and um, you're you're, a, a, you're spectating perhaps you learn to have a better existence within when you're living because it you may innocent. happen yeah it may happen it may happen that whole behavior it may thing, not. you know yeah well you know what it's always a joy to have you on what can we expect next from you what are you oh my on goodness right now? uh you can either expect nothing in the way of writing <laughs> <laughs> maybe this is it i mean this is the book that i have had uh, on my list uh, for nearly 40 years. Oh, wow. Um, and I viewed it something as my swan song in terms of writing. Okay. However, I may, I may follow up. Okay. Um, it depends on how it goes. And, you know, Good discussion uh, online. Where can they go to get a copy of this and, you can and go, join the discussion? Thanks, Angie. You can go to my website at uh, martymcmorrow.com okay. um, or Amazon or any of the other you know, uh, online booksellers um, and yes. get... Uh, Get the book, Spectating. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thanks for having me. And we'll be right back. Coming up on The Spiel. There's a majesty that reigns when the heavens can't contain. There is a room that overflows, filling the temple with its train. I'm grateful that I'm able to be in a position to uh, tell these stories. And um, it's hard. It really is hard, but at the same time, it's wonderful. There's a lot that goes into building a new home from the ground up, from choosing the right floor plan to making sure you're using the highest quality materials, all while keeping your project within budget. 
It helps to know you can depend on a trusted supplier that carries more than just lumber. From wall studs to sheetrock, flooring to countertops, Southside Lumber has all the tools and materials you'll need delivered. Southside Lumber has been supplying materials for the whole house for the last 70 years, proving we're more than just lumber. Southside Lumber. Three Rivers College is a smart choice for people wanting to better their lives. Three Rivers is a smart choice to train for in-demand jobs with good salaries. They were able to work with me and the one-on-one was really a necessity at the time and it's almost like customized learning. Three Rivers College is the smart choice for adult students who want to better their lives. I came to Three Rivers because it is really close to home. The classes are small. That gives me more individual time with my instructors. They're always there to help you when you need them to. I would encourage all of you to pay it forward and let that random act of kindness define us as a nation. My name is Jalad. I'm a dentist. We are here for the community to help them with their dental need and provide the dental care for the people who need it the most, the people of this community. Some of our guests haven't had places to go to for a while because they go from one place to another. They appreciate what we do here and we're very thankful that they give us the opportunity to do it. When they come over here, they know that you care for them. That is the most important thing we can do. Visit us at crhpc.org. You're watching The Spiel. The Spiel presents You're On, 100% original new music. I'm Justin Holman. Um, the song I was going to play is called Everything You Are. It's about renewing your mind daily and um, taking on a fresh outlook, um, no matter what happened the day before, um, trying to look at life in the best way possible. Um, and this is called Everything You Are. There's a gallery that hangs The pictures that he paints Under the frame, cut in a plate There is an artist in the day And what trial could ever change The power of his name You're calling for my time Keep calling me to renew my mind Like the Eucharist Susan I renew my soul like the angels that still fly, renew my heart. Show me everything you are. There's a majesty that reigns when the heavens can't contain. There is a room that overflows, filling the temple with its train. No trial can ever change the power of his name. You're calling for my time, keep calling me to renew my mind. Like the day pursues the night, renew my soul. Like the angels that still fly, renew my heart. Show me everything you are Show me everything you are I'm sharing in your victory I'm standing in its light I feel it from the inside out high We'll never be denied Renew my mind Like the day pursues the night Renew my soul Like the angels that still fly Renew my heart Show me everything you are Like the day 
musicians and not renew my soul Like the angels that still fly, renew my heart Show me everything you are Show me everything you are We do our purchasing, which gives us deeper discounts. So we have five acres full here, another five acres full across the street. Get online, check it out, tristaterv.com. We have our new RVs, pre-owned, clearance. It's so simple to go through. We have toy haulers, travel trailers, fifth wheels, trailers, and motorhome. Call us or go online, get a quote, trade in value, get financing, or just contact us. And we'll send you written information as well as a video. Get a hold of us and see what we do for you. Try State RV. I won't be beat. At the Bank of Heron, we know that between family and work, it can be a challenge to find the time to take care of things like going to the bank. And really, what you need is a way to do your banking on the go. Well, we've got good news. With the Bank of Heron mobile banking app, you can manage debit cards, find bank locations, monitor account activity, even make a deposit. Just a few of the ways our mobile banking app can save you a trip to the bank. We'd love for you to come see us, but now you don't have to. The Bank of Heron. It's not just a bank, it's mobile banking. The Shawnee National Forest is home to miles of unbelievable natural wonders. Plan your getaway at southernmostillinois.com. Hi, Dr. Jones. John Shemkus. Hi, ladies. I'm John. Good to see you. Ah, he's a man. That's right. What locations like this provide is really the doctor-patient relationship. Uh, medical records and and the wholeness aspect. Healthcare is very complicated and complex. People in rural small town America they don't have the access that everyone should have, which is primary care. People know if I go there, I'll get seen. Using an emergency room for your healthcare needs, it's costly, it's inefficient, and then sometimes the gaps of care are lost because you're just dealing with the immediate healthcare event, not the wellness of the, the whole individual. And that's what the clinics do, provide that needed opportunity for folks to have access to care and really build on that doctor-patient relationship and a medical home. Folks can get access and advice and consultations with some of the best. You're watching The Spiel. Justin Holman, you are on. How does it feel? Feels really good. Does it feel good yeah. to be on? Okay. Feels good. You know what? I have a lot of respect for you. Um, you have quite the testimony and you're um, offering that through music and you've really changed your tune over the years. Is that I have, to yeah. Say? I have. Yeah, I definitely have. I, um, you know, I started off my, my music career and just uh, life in general in. Um, you know, I just didn't really have any time in my life for God or for even people, love for people. Sure. And um, you were in the fast lane, fast track. Yeah, and, and it was right? a very selfish fast lane. Yeah. But that's that changed. That changed a lot. You know, when I accepted Christ in my heart, and um, you call it being a new creation. And new I love creation. That. Yeah, exactly. I love that. I, you know, I too have gone through that. But we we all we stumble, we make mistakes, we yeah. fall, and I think for you to be admitting that in in such a, a way is to be commended. So I appreciate it. Um, congratulations congratulations on that and congratulations on the transformation because you've got like five kids looking up to you I do yeah five young yeah. five five little ones Wow and they're wild yeah they are wild yeah, right they are and that's why you have to sing these fabulous songs to just to keep yourself grounded and right? to calm them down yeah yes. just to soothe them yes. it doesn't work that much <laughs> <laughs> talk to me about um, what it is that you're writing is it um, just the about the transformation as a whole your your feeling about your relationship with Jesus Christ what is it that's motivating you and, and what are the words you're trying to encapsulate well, um, with the album that I just finished up writing, um, w most of that was basically me sitting down and turning a personal diary into music. You know, the testimony itself, um, usually um, God is, is speaking to, whatever he speak, spoke to me during that transformation was sure. powerful enough to transform me. Therefore, it was pretty easy for me to sit down and just kind of write my thoughts down obviously in a poetic way, but to share, so I could share that testimony through music. And that's what I did with this last album, that the latest album that I recorded, was just kind of 
turn a personal diary, a personal testimony into songs. Awesome. Yeah. And, and a great job you have done. And I, I think it's a perfect time because this type of music is so relatable. I think it's being um, downloaded and listened to just as often as perhaps some of the alternative and the country and the rock. And it's popular. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. And, you know, my, my main thing is that I've been I, I've been in the alternative rock world mm -hmm. um, that um, and, and there's and there's good stuff there. I'm not putting any of that down because that blessed me uh, beforehand and it still has parts that are intertwined with that are a part of Justin Holman. Sure. But um, I my main thing with the stuff that I'm writing now is is, is not to sound cookie cutter mm -hmm. or to sound like everything else, but to just bring how God made me and the way that I, I write music and to just express that to people so that they can uh, maybe have a, something a little new to hear, you right. know, a little new style. Right, so. right. and I, I think um, what you have working for you is you are relatable. Is yeah. that a goal of yours, to be relatable? Well, I love people, um, and, and, and I think that, and I'm, and I'm even, even before I was saved, I hated having an enemy or someone that didn't like me, but even more so now, that um, I've saved, I know that enemy, that there's people that may be against me just because of what I speak about. Sure. But I, m my passion is to lift people up, to encourage people, because um, there's been times in my life where I needed that, and sometimes it was there and sometimes it wasn't. Mm -hmm. And if I can provide music or even talk to people after a concert or something and let them know, hey, wow, this Justin Holman guy, he's larger than life, but really just be normal and be, um, you know, just be brought, don't be on a high horse. Sure. That's my main goal. But That's when God is for you, who can be against you, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, it's such a powerful thing, and I'm so happy that obviously prayers were answered in regards to you, and um, I hope that your music does touch a lot of people because it's deserving and it's it's awesome. Thank you. And that is African mahogany. That it is. With the guitar there, that, that wood, is. that is that. something right there. You know, you said it was a nervous banter when you walked in, and we're like, man, that is a guitar right there. You're like, thank you, it's African mahogany. Yeah. Exactly. How about that? It is. It is. <laughs> it sounds like it. It sounds real good. It does. Okay, so what can we expect from you next? Where do people need to go to follow you to, to maybe download the music? What, what do they need to do? Instruct them. We, um, I have a Facebook page that's called Justin Holman um, Ministries, and I also have an Instagram page that's Holman underscore official underscore music. Okay. Um, and I'm, and I'm, yeah, I know. But okay. there's so many people that take all the names. They don't it. leave us anything to work with I at all. It. I get it. Um, but yeah, you can please follow me on there. I'm always putting funny stuff up, stuff that my kids are doing. Um, but yeah, you can follow me there. And I'm going to be, the new album that I just recorded is um, Spotify, iTunes. It'll be everywhere. Awesome. Yeah. Justin Holman, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. We'll be right back. I'm a general dentist. I grew up in Peoria. To have so many clinics through the rural areas, it gives people access to not only medical care, but dental care. To have the backup of another dentist to kind of confer with, to have even the medical staff to confer with in this group environment is a tremendous benefit of Christopher and Cesar having the group practices like that in here. Visit us at crhpc.org. We want every customer to come in here and feel like they got the great dining experience. We have a variety of cuts, sirloin, strip, a ribeye, filet. Numerous cuts that are farm to table. Without the pianist, it wouldn't be the hideout. They play that certain song and they create the flow of the restaurant. Got an award for our Wine Spectator. We pride ourselves in carrying over 500 selections of wine. It's a nice upper casual dining experience. Product that tastes second to none. We're open seven days a week, whether it's with a family for a date, an anniversary. Come visit us here at the hideout. These days, video is everywhere. TVs, computers, even your phone. With so many ways to use video to reach your potential audience, it's become an important part of doing business. If you like the commercials you've seen during the spiel, and if your business could benefit from a creative approach to telling your story, with attention-grabbing visuals and thoughtfully executed scripts, perhaps it's time you give Growing Media a call. We'd love to hear from you. I'm getting ready. In the store? Clean up aisle six. 
Have you seen these bathroom displays? At Southside Lumber, our professional design team can help you create the bathroom you've always wanted. Call or stop by and see for yourself. This is my dream bathroom. More than just lumber, Southside Lumber. The biggest thing in life is to help other people. So I feel like every day I go to work, if I can make a difference, either it's small or large, it's worth it. And Three Rivers has a program for Firefighter 1 and 2. Um, after you do that, you're going to go through and you're going to take a state test that qualifies you to be an actual professional firefighter. And Three Rivers is just a great place to start. A great program. The, the campus is really easy to get around. Um, I'm actually an adjunct instructor, so I further to go on and do that. So I really enjoy seeing someone that started where I started at. Not every day you make an impact, but when someone's at their worst, it makes you feel great that you can step in there and help somebody in the time of need. Three Rivers College. Success starts here. Hi everybody, I'm Tim Estilos here and I am with a not only an acting icon, but also an icon for the Hispanic community, Mr. Edward James Olmos. First of all, thank you for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you guys for being here. What is it like for you personally to be meeting with your fans here at the Super Mega Fest? This is a love fest. Every uh, convention I've ever been to, and there haven't been that many, but I, every time I go, it's a tremendous sharing of of uh, love and, and respect and uh, admiration and uh, on both ways. I admire and I respect the people who come up to me and say thank you to me. I have to turn to them and say, no, 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 it's me thanking you, that's what I'm doing here. My main question for you is this. You've had such an amazing career from Miami Vice to being nominated for an Oscar for Stand and Deliver to Battlestar Galactica, even currently Blade Runner. There's been a common theme of empowering Latinos and presenting a positive image. So what has been the most significant part of your career in that aspect for you personally as well as in your mind for the Latino community? The ability to understand yourself and to really look for the story. It's all about stories and uh, the thing that has helped me the most has been able to know that the stories that we bring to light are stories that have never been touched before and that uh, I'm grateful that I'm able to be in a position to uh, tell these stories. And um, it's hard, it really is hard, but at the same time it's wonderful. Well, I want to thank you. This has been an honor and a pleasure. We've been here with Edward James Almost. I'm Tim Estilos here at the Super Mega Fest. If you've got stuff, you need storage. K&K Buildings has a building option that's perfect for you. From cabin options to utility and lofted style barns, big or small. And you can get a building delivered with no credit check, no hassle. Versatile, well built with quality that's second to none. K&K Buildings are locally made to match your needs. Available in a wide range of sizes and options. Got stuff? Get storage. See all that we have to offer. Visit our locations in Benton and Carterville or find out more at knkportablebuildings.com. This is a program that the bank has launched and we are extremely proud of the Teen Debit Card Program. We're excited about it because you guys get a chance to become independent in financing. You have to be 16 years of age, you have to have a parent or guardian on the checking account with you, then the debit card's going to come, but it's going to be in your name. So right off the bat, it's yours. It's convenient, it's very easy to use. I feel the debit card is more secure than just carrying around $20. It's not just a bank, it's a relationship. Good morning to everyone. Thank you for coming out on this beautiful sunny day. I'm Kim Matroka, the CEO of Christopher World Health Planning Corporation. I'd like to thank all of you for being here today for our groundbreaking for our new building. Unless you have a district that has the rural areas like the Illinois 12, you don't understand how important it is to have those key locations where health care can be provided. For the staff that works so diligently and so hard to provide those needs, we want to say a special thank you. What our goals are are to build healthier communities and to serve the people. Today we're going to celebrate the 43,000 patients that Christopher Rural Health Planning Corporation takes care of across 11 sites throughout Southern Illinois.
You're watching The Spiel. We have made you wait for the whole show, but it's going to be worth it. These are the most Googled question, the most searched items. You already know number one, Stacy. What is it? How to tie a tie. That's right. How to tie a tie. Listen, we talked about it being struggles of adult life. Okay. Guess what number two is? Before anything else, I, I think, I don't know, I'm going to have to look and see if it ranks this high, but how to kiss. Ooh. What do you think? How to kiss. Stacy, there's, there's, a, there's a practice for that. How to kiss. Well, it depends, you know, is it what kind of kiss, right? How to, <laughs> and everybody chuckles. That's funny. Okay. Struggles of adult life. How to kiss. How to, what is this? It would help if I could read my writing. Let's see. Most searched, let me look this up again. Rob, turn on the elevator music. Most searched questions. No, it wasn't. It was um, most searched questions, capture the struggle. Per okay, here it is. Um, how to kiss, okay, how to tie a tie. How to kiss, how to make French toast. Oh my gosh. You know? How to make pancakes or French toast. How to make money. Right? That's right? Okay. Um, okay. How to get pregnant. Wow. Okay. Well, if you learn how to kiss, it could lead to the how to get pregnant. I don't know. How to lose weight. How to draw. What's the answer to the pregnancy one? Well, listen, that's for another show. We're not going to answer the pregnancy question. How to write a cover letter and how to lose belly fat. There you go. Top 10 most searched questions on Google. And we don't have the answer to any of those, do we? All right, what's our word? Jason, come on up. What's our word? I love my deliciously ordinary rose. Is it, is it the right size or is it a little large for this, a little large? Polyhistor. Jason, come on up. A person of great and varied learning. See, this is why we, we this is why we need this. Okay. How many syllables is it? Polyhistor. Polyhistor. Do you know what the definition is? Somebody of great and varied learning. Correct. Now, how do we rank in the polyhistory? I don't know. But I assume that's why I was brought up here to do this Correct. word See, of the day. You're right. Okay, here we go. You going to lead it off? Pa. Lee. His. Tor. Polyhistor. Is that right? Now in unison. Polyhistor. Is that it? Thank you. That's a great shirt, by the way. All right, I think that's all we have for this week. So hopefully, Julie will be back next week and she won't call in sick. Or what? Did, did she even buy? No, we've determined she didn't even call in. She called. She advised Stacy that she would be out sick today. Did she call in sick? She called in on a trip. Okay, she's on a trip. Hopefully she will be back from her trip. And we can do this show called The Spiel next week. So we'll see you then. Lord, harvest my heart. Press it, let's see. What lives in me? Am I feeding only flesh? And dying Have my hands become obsessed by the world These good intentions are the same as lying Oh my God, am I wretched and ruined Your love is the light of men from heaven And Jesus, you came with such delight by your blood, I'll never be defeated. Now my cup, it overflows. Lord, you know my heart. You know my need. Remain in me. You hold the key and you will reign forever. You are my gardener, my vine. Sustained in your love and sacrifice Oh my God, you are so worthy Your love is the light of men from heaven And Jesus, 
Jesus, you came with such delight By your blood, I'll never be defeated Now my cup, it overflows Falling at your feet, I rest Great is your name, Jesus Holy everlasting high, Son of God, Jesus Christ. Falling at your feet I rest, great is your name, Jesus. Holy everlasting high, Son of God, Jesus Christ. from heaven and Jesus you came with such delight by your blood I'll never be defeated now my cup it overflows falling at your feet I rest great is your name Jesus holy Son of God, Jesus Christ, your love is the light of men from heaven, and Jesus, you came with such delight, by your blood, I'll never be defeated, now my cup, it overflows, it overflows.